Hola, como estas? You guys want to know why I'm not like other girls? I know who Maddox is. Yeah, I'm cool. Yes, yes. Okay, actually, I did want to share the cute little story of how I discovered this man at the ripe age of 12 years old. So in case you're not familiar with Maddox, uh, it, this feels really weird to say, but I guess technically he's part of the manosphere. I don't know. I've been reading his articles for so long. Like he is his own entity on the internet. I don't associate him with like the red pill or like anything, but I, you know, I understand why. I remember he also did a podcast with Dick Masterson at one point, if any of you are familiar with that guy. Um, and yeah, uh, he's just been making videos, writing articles for a long time. And uh, I actually think that I heard Sam Hyde mention him one time. So that makes that if that's the case, that makes total sense. Maybe both me and Sam Hyde as as youngins discovered this page. So so here's how I found out about him. Um, I was in middle school. That's right. And I was in computer class um, and I was in sitting in class early. Most of the kids got to the computer lab early for computer class because we wanted to screw around on the Internet. You know what I mean? And I literally just got the idea, um, you know, to Yahoo search. I think I remember using Yahoo search uh, in the early 2000s. So I thought, ooh, I wonder if anybody's ever, you know, come up with like, like, what's the best web page in the universe, right? So I literally Yahoo search like the best web page or the best page ever, right? Um, and this is what came up, right? The best page in the universe. And I believe, I, I don't remember like the first article that I read. I'm assuming I just clicked on whatever the first one was. I'm also wondering if maybe s some of the articles aren't there anywhere. I'm trying to find them. I remember reading articles from like 1998. Like I specifically remember reading one of Maddox's like articles and he was like, it was from 1998. He said he was like 28 years old, you know? Um, like, I also remember reading that he wrote he was 28 years old. He was like, oh my gosh, like, I'm a 12 year old girl. Like, this is like some creepy, weird man on the internet. You know? <laughs> I had that thought because to catch a predator was really big at that time. So, like, my everybody's mindset was there. You know, it didn't matter who you were, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I found this page, literally just on a whim. It's almost like it was fate. Um, and I was specifically trying to find, if any of you can help me with this, and I've actually done this twice. He wrote an article, I believe it was just called The Female Brain, or it was like the anatomy of a female brain. And it was actually my favorite article for a really long time. And let me remind everyone, like, when I was a teenage girl, like, I was very naive. Like, I had, you know, really nice people in my family, like, you know, I, I just, you know, I didn't really understand the dynam dynamics between men and women. So I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. It was just funny to me on its own merit. Like I hadn't even like kissed a boy at that point. Okay. So like, I didn't really understand, like all of that stuff was very foreign to me, but for some reason I just loved this article about the female brain and I found it so funny. Um, and yeah, I don't know, but I can't, I can't find it. Uh, I found it before, like a few years ago. Now, the last thing I will leave you guys with um, is a highlight, okay? So I actually, I, I always wanted to email Maddox, right? But I was always way too scared because I was, like, such a huge fan. I was really young, you know. Um, oh, my gosh, she's so funny, okay? Uh, <laughs> and uh, I um, finally did when I was in my late 20s, so just a few years ago. And I said... Um, I, I I kept it really simple. I didn't want to talk too much because I've read all his articles about women, so I know exactly what to do. <laughs> Guys, I've been reading this guy since I was 12 years old. Okay, give me a break. I think I'm allowed to have like a para parasocial nervousness. Okay, like please. All right. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So I was just like, dude, been reading your page uh, since I was 12. You know, it's it's you know 15 years. What? Yeah, 15 years later now. The world is crazy thanks, you know, and he replied like right away. And he was like, 
no problem. Keep fighting the good fight. And it was, yeah, one of the best moments of my life. Um, I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It, it, it was just a great internet moment, I should say. You know, I've definitely, don't worry, I've done other things. All right, like, it, I, there's more to my world, okay? I have a good dad, okay? <laughs> like, what if I just spend my whole channel bragging about how great my dad is? That would, that would definitely be like a, um, what would you call that? I always just use the word peacocking because I also saw that uh, pickup artist show that ran on VH1. Do you guys remember Mystery, the pickup artist? Just side note, like, oh, that guy used to make me laugh so much. Um, but yeah, like it would be a form of like female peacocking. Like, did I mention that my dad is really great? You know, <laughs> and and all of my uncles as well. No, I'm good. All right. I, I, I want to be more dignified than that. Okay. We're just, we're going to chill. All right. Um, but yeah, I, it's one, a few more things about Maddox are real quick. Like I remember in his articles, he would talk a lot about like creating web content. So that since that's basically what he does professionally. And the one thing that I always remember, I, every time I make a thumbnail, anytime I'm putting text to screen, it's like dark background, light letters, because it's easier on the eyes. When you're on the internet, you always, you people prefer the dark background with the, the light lettering. Again, easier on the eyes, easier to read. Just FYI, it's a tip that I learned from this guy years ago before I even, like before YouTube was even invented, okay? <laughs> like he had it down. So, um but yeah, that's, I just wanted to share in case you guys, I, I recommend if you guys want to get a little nostalgic, you know, maybe you can go back, read some of these older articles. They're, they're really funny. And it's, it's really strange. Like things have not changed much, right? Like looking back at some of these older, like headlines and kind of, I was reading through some of them, like, it's like, this really isn't much different from the commentary somebody could make today. You know, it's almost like, um, you know, it's just, it's just more, it's just, there's more, there's more women doing webcam modeling than there were in 2003. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Female brain. So it's cool. I'll be all right. But yeah, I just wanted to share that little story. I thought it was kind of cute. Um, and yeah, recommend that check him out. Uh, he's still making content. Um, he, he's a very, he's rare. He likes to keep it classy. You know, he doesn't post all the time. He just, he gives you the goods you know, like when he has something to say, right? Okay. Have a good one. Thanks.